Hi guys, it's Candace. Okay, I just wanted to show, um, share with you some yummy finds, some shares that I found. This was last week on 5-2, I know, but this week these are on sale again. Um, so I got these little t treat bags, they're in the bakery thing. They're 3 by 4 inches, and I thought this would be interesting to do a project with. I mean, they were, you know, half off in the bakery stuff, so for $1. fifty, I think I can experiment with that. Then I got some plain little gold corner tabs. Um, like I said, um, the paper studio was half off last week. I just, you know, didn't find anything that I really had to have. But anyway, so, um, but I got these because I thought this would be um, cute for some other little things that I'm working on. Then I got these because, you know, I had to go back and get some more of that rose gold washi tape because I was using the the mess out of it. So I figured before they sold out, I better get them. And, you know, they were on sale. So, well, yeah, I had to get that one. And then I think I have this, but I wasn't sure. But I just loved all the little bees and daisies and stuff. So, um, but I went ahead and grabbed that. And then this is one of those um, stamp cleaning sponges that, you know, I could never remember what it was called. But I went ahead and got one just so we can do it to see how it actually oh, whoop, hello works now it says on there that you simply wet you moisten them wring out the excess water wipe or tap your stamps on um, to clean it said it will become stained but the ink will not transfer to other stamps so I've seen other people use this little like a chamois cloth type thing um, I'm just trying to see how to get into it here we go and so I am going to go wet it. This is so weird. I'm guessing it's going to expand a little. I don't know because it's definitely sealed a mealed in here. And it feels kind of plastic. It's a little weird. It feels like my, my foam stamping and stuff. Oh, good grief. So, you know, beware. You might have to fight with it to get it open. But, yeah, it's, um, it's a little pooey. It stinks, but it feels weird, and I'm guessing either side, because they both kind of feel the same. So, let me put you on hold. I'm going to go, you know, moisten it, wring it out, and then we're going to clean off our Tim Holtz stamp. So, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, I wet it. I wrung the excess water out of it. So, let's let's see how... I don't know. Well, I don't see anything on there, but I still see a little ink on there, which I kind of thought maybe. So let's just let's just give it the uh, the Ranger Bubblegum Clean test and see if it gets the rest of that off. I know I will try it again. I have to get a. A little baggie to keep it in to keep it so no the archival ink no more came out I guess cuz it oh and then that one well look I got I picked up ink on here cuz I need to wash my thing again and it is cleaning the ink off so we'll see we'll have to try this a few more times in uh, before I you know tell you what I think about that but I do like I said I need to get um, a Ziploc baggie and put it in there actually I have one hold on so it can you know stay moist so I don't have to keep um well I thought I had one over here I don't on it okay well I have to get one because I don't have to you know constantly get up and wring it out all the time so but We'll see what we think about that. Let's put these stamps up. We'll put the, whoa, we'll put this up. These need to be be put up. So let me put this all these aside. Oh my gosh. Okay. You know, just because that thing's wet, I can't put it just anywhere. I put this stupid thing. I need to rinse that out since the ink came out. Now I got this. From um, scrapbooking.com. Scrapbook I just received it 5 9 
um, this is their scrapbook.com. This was marked down to five dollars and something, but stamping um, scrapbook.com sells Nuvo drops also. So um, I believe if you have, I think they have free shipping after so much. I'm not sure, but. And on here, you know, they don't, it's not a packing slip. I mean, it's just a packing slip. It it's not like the order to tell you how much it was. But I got this and um, this new color, which is Antique Rose. And then I got some more, two more of these, because this is the one, the Carmel, Carmel Cream that I use all the time. But I wanted to try this Antique Rose, so, you know, I had to get two more of these before I ran out. Because, you know, that would just, oh be tragic if I ran out of those because I, I use them all the time so once we play with this we'll see how that works but I just thought this was really cute for a Christmas thing and for five dollars and change you know had to add it to my collection I know I didn't have to I hear John in the background oh no you didn't have to but duh. so then you know this last week too I went to Tuesday morning because I always go, it's next to Hobby Lobby where I'm at. And, oh, let me put this up too. Um, and so, it's usually <laughs> more miss than hit anymore. Because you used to could really find some pretty papers and stuff in there. Um, but they just uh, have let the the craft world is just, they, they don't care anymore. They're more into their outdated, expired coffees and junk like that and and all the other the furniture and stuff <coughs> but yeah I'm a little disappointed in their their lack of crafting supplies for us crafters we need a good outlet all right so let me see or can you see good enough yeah this one I thought would be pretty I know it's a little bright and everything to do some TNs with it um Maybe I'll probably do one and put it in, in my Etsy shop. And then the other ones I'm going to make for some Journal of Hope. Just because it's it's just, you know, make a wish upon a starfish. And j just some cute little things that I thought would probably go for that. And uh, Sweet Little Mermaids. Little Sand Dollars. But it's just, you know, a pretty little soft palette type thing, which I think would be kind of cute to play with. So and this one has 48 pages, and it's, you know, yeah, 48 pages. And it's not as thick as, you know, they used to be, but it's still thick. But yeah, salty but sweet. But I just thought this would be a pretty, just little inspirational type thing that I can do. Oh, I love this one. It's so cute. <laughs> little mermaid fins and the starfishes. And this is just some, reminds me of the skies, the aurora boreas. Ooh, and little, little crabbies. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So this is, you know, SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> but I just thought that was cute. And I have some cute little mermaidish stuff that will... Will go good in there and then this i mean i was i saw this and i was like oh my god because you never i'm there's never any bow bunny or anything good like that over you know anymore and this one again had 48 pages in there and oops i'm trying to do this with my right hand and wrong angle but oh i just had to have this one wait what is this they didn't put them together you know I hate when they put just the like the groups together instead of putting three pages for for thing but this is you know decent card stock but I love these colors I've seen them before and you know on other people's that's made oh look at that that's made some and like I said when I saw it I was like oh I just have to have it so I can make something with it because these are just so pretty. Pretty, pretty. Such a pretty, pretty girl. Yeah. Oh, look at the blue. The little, yep. 
and I actually, I have some ephemera pieces that I got, I swear, like in 2018 that goes with this because I remember seeing some of these colors and stuff. <clears throat> but yeah, I just thought this was just pretty. And oh, look at the fleur-de-lis. I know, us, us crazy people from Louisiana area just love our fleur-de-lis. But yep, I definitely have the, the little ephemera pieces that go with this. Oh my gosh. So, oh, look at that page. Oh yeah, the medallions. And then some wood. Oh, wait a minute. What is it? Okay, it looks like there's two pages of each. Because I'm like, there better not not be. I like it when you get the three pages, you know. Oh, but how pretty. So, and that's just another set of, you know, group of all of those. But that was actually a decent little find at my Tuesday morning. And then I found these when I was walking out. I had to get these for me. Let me turn the right way. Look at these earrings. Are they not the cutest thing? So, actually, they'll go with what I'm wearing today. So, I think I'm going to have to pop them in. Let me see if I can get them in my phone with focus. But, oh, they're just so cute. So, yeah, I had to I had to get them. I know I didn't have to, but I had to. Because you know they'll never be there again. All right. Well, I got 20 minutes. Okay, so then. Let me see. I went to Michael's. I think this was on the same day. Let me look. <laughs> um. Oh, no, this is 412. Oops. Yeah. And as you can tell, they're a little curved because they were riding in my truck for <laughs> a couple of weeks, apparently. So, all right. Let me throw that trash bag away. So, let me see. We got, oh, I had a coupon, 20% off something. I don't know. So, I guess I got these. It says these stickers were regularly $5.99 a pack. And I got them for $4.79. But they're, um, they're stickers. I don't know if they're as, as thick as the ones that you get from Hobby Lobby because you know I like to use them for tuck spots oh yeah they're good oh. yep so I'll just you know peel this back glue that to it and um, so that way when I put make my tuck spots <coughs> they'll be in there um, but it's just called recollection stickers um, Here's their SKU number back here. I don't know which one they use. The 665-637. Nope, it's this one. Um, 195-1584-77702. Because I don't know about you guys. When I go to try to search for their stuff online, sometimes I find things, sometimes I don't. But I guess if you just type in, in the search thing, Recollections or recollection stickers you probably have to surf through a thousand of their stickers but um but i just these were so cute and then this is the ones that are in here but i just thought they were really pretty and this one is one nine five one five eight four seven 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 one nine but these are the ones that are in these two so i've got to try to see if I could catch them when they're on sale. Because I never I never seem to catch Michaels on sale. Hardly. Because they, they don't. They're never on sale with everybody else's sales. So you know. It's one of those hit and miss things. Then I thought this was the cutest thing. <clears throat> Some um, little daisies. Believe it or not. It was considered Easter. And so. This thing was $1.50. So. And then we'll, this, you know, I just had to, it was the only one on there that they had for, and I didn't need any more Christmas stuff. 
but it was the only one over there and so I went over to their little price checking thing because you know they they're still the only the only store around that has one of those price scanny things and let me tell you what this thing was on clearance for a dollar ninety nine well pfft. hello had to buy it I mean you know it's it's definitely seen its days it was probably thrown on the the back floor in the stock room but I'm okay with that for a dollar ninety nine so and then this one because I'm gonna do some neutrals um, these were on sale for um, five dollars um, let's see if we can open this side up real quick come on if me and this razor blade doesn't do well sometimes okay so but I just thought this this was pretty and this I call this medium weight cardstock it looks like you get two pages of everything but well I'm not gonna let's let's do it with my left hand but I just thought this would go nice you know in a considered neutral thing I have the prettiest quilted sh um, pillow sham that I found that's all cream and oh my gosh and when I washed it it turned out so good and that's what I want to use for this because it is just so pretty and I thought that when I saw this I thought oh that would go with it perfect so that's what I want to do this one Oops. So yeah you know the only thing is you have this is a you know a six by six so you always have to lose some or do something with it like this I think you we uh, could fold over and make a little note card out of there and maybe these two I don't know but you know because these are designed for scrapbooking for those big 12 by 12 pages but not everybody uses scrapbook paper for what it was intended for just look at the people in the journal world <coughs> oh but yeah this one's gonna be fun to do so that's that one and then I know just because it was five dollars I had to get it I didn't have to but I did and these things sometimes you can get all the sticky off sometimes you can't let's see if we're gonna be able to get this one off oh I think so I actually have some fabric that is bright and colorful like this that has tropical leaves and birds on it so when I saw this one I was like well I have some fabric that will go perfect with that so let's take our thingies off but I thought this would be pretty yeah live in the sunshine swim in the sea uh, live in the shade swim in the pool that's the safest <laughs> you can see what's in the pool and you won't get sunburn in the shade but I, I love this page it's got you know like gold on there and then look at this sea turtle made in, in flowers with the leaves and stuff but I just thought it was it had some really pretty those are supposed to be um, starfishes actually they look like little lemon wedges that somebody cut out for garnishes but I mean, hey, what can I say? Oh, you got some waves. Get your wave on. And this is pretty just for the little, you know, the dabs of color. That wouldn't be hard to do with some watercolor pen, you know, just. And I'm guessing this is dragon fruit. But I just thought that would, that's pretty. So, yeah, I'm going to gonna do one, a tropical one. But I love this fruit and everything. And the cockatoo. Enjoy the wave. Hey. See you at the beach. No, you won't. You see this fair skin? This girl don't go in the sun. She got sunburnt bad when she was little. No, no, no. Oh, but yeah. 
this is going to be a cheerful look at that i love this i wish they would have put some more gold in on here or even silver would have been really pretty and those flowers and stripes so i think we're going to come up with something really cute for this one too <clears throat> oh my gosh i know I'm, I'm making a bigger boma on on me i'm piling myself up okay and let me see what else i have so I can get it off this floor. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. So little girl's gonna be mad because I just threw all those bags in in front of her. So yesterday, this is actually 510. And I, I used my mad money on that one. So I didn't even charge it. I know I was a good girl. They had the micro punch. Oh my gosh. And it's 40% off this week for all your punches. Then all the stamps are 40% off. So I have like smaller ones of this, but I really love the bigger size. So I went ahead and got that one because that one um, was $5.99 on sale. I oh, know I didn't I didn't have time. And as you can hear, I'm still digging in here. This is a table decor in the party section. I thought if I cut this in half and I, this is going to be pretty in our fairy thing. So I'm going to mess with that. And then I had to get these. This is place cards because you know I'm doing a lemon thing. I thought this would be pretty because you know you fold it right there. And if you folded it over and put it on the side of your page, it had a tuck. I thought that would be cute. Then this is a place card. I thought something here as a tuck and then maybe put some lace or I don't know something down here but I was like ah, I had to get those because I saw them I thought they were pretty and um they were not on sale oh um this I found in the clearance thing for 19 cents I mean they're cute we'll have I don't know we'll do something with them then I had to get a fairy stamp I know I don't know how many I have, but I know I do not have one like this. So I went ahead and got this one. That one was on sale. Um, let me see. It is, I think it was 40%. Hmm. Well, I don't think she rang this up. Cards and party was that floral sewing paper crafts $9.99 and $5.99 she might have overcharged this one I think she might have put that in at $8.99 oh no no she did not because I got some um, Versifying Claire the green because I've been wanting this the shade of green so I got that one and then these this was on sale for a dollar, and I thought that would be pretty in our little, um, what you dinky, fairy book, and, um, I don't know, this one says 19 cents, so she, I think, no, that's this, I don't think she rang this up, I have to go check my thing off, but, oops, well, and then, just in case some of you guys, over in the, um, wedding supply, with the brothers and sisters stuff, this was on, this was half off, and it's, it's floral tape, so I had to open it in the store to take it off to see if the glitter would come off, it does not, and it's like washi tape, and look how much you get for <clears throat> three ninety nine, and it's half off of that, so I got this gold one, they've got gold, they have um, silver, they have like this black, and grayish kind and then they have this one which is just the iridescent but yeah I mean the glitter does not come off of this and just a little bit of glue on there and it, it's gonna work just like washi tape so I was like oh interesting so yeah so you know just if something catches your eye that's why they make glue. <laughs> they glue that bad boy down. So, but y'all be using this for forever. <laughs> You'll be seeing this 
for maybe two Christmases. Who knows? So that's that one. I know. Let me put it back in this bag. Oh, I, like I said, when I went the last time, that four, whenever, in, in April, I was looking for this, well, last week, and they did not have any. They had, like, two stinking punches on the wall. And when I went there and I saw that, I was like, yes, because I want this itty bitty bitty tiny, look at that little hole. Oh my gosh, yeah. So, like I have room for another punch on here, but we're going to make room. We're going to get rid of our lacquer um, stuff so I have room for my little punches on the wall, on my little thing. All right, now, then I stopped at... There's a thrift store on our on my way home. I stop there. I find I find good stuff there. I have to admit. So I found these little books and I think they charge a quarter for their books. I know. But this has just got some sweet little mice that I thought would be cute. Well, he's not. He might have to go in, in like a Halloween thing. But I just thought these looked like they would go in the little fairy book too. Just for some of their little woodland friends. So I got that one because I thought it was really cute. Then, you know, I found like I need another one of these. But it's not that glossy glossy. And it's a good thick thing. And they would make great envelopes. So I got that. I mean, you know, 25 cents. We'll add it to the pile. And then... Oh, this one it's actually fairies so and then somebody actually wrote in here I felt so bad but look at this I mean is that not going to be the sweetest little things to go into our little fairy our little fairy book oh so yeah you know sometimes I feel bad taking books apart but Oh, and look how pretty that red bird is. Oh my gosh, that would even just go in a bird journal too. Oh, that one would too. But, oh, and look at this. Oh, that would be pretty in like a zoo one. Oh, dragonfly. But see now, once again, you have to sacrifice a page. Oh, I hate that. And then we just, in the little woodlands are getting it. They're partying. They ate too many shrooms. Can you even see that one? No. There you go. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. Oh, but they're, oh, that's so sweet. And then look at the bears. But, yeah. Oh, I just, you see, this isn't so bad. Because, like I said, you just hate having to choose which stinking, oh, look how cute, page to use. But there's, you know, I'll just have to cry. Oh, but, yeah. So I just thought that was really sweet, um, that little book. So we can use them in our little fairy, our fairy thing. Whatever that is. Oh, t yeah, Traveler's Notebook. And then they had these three balances. Oh, let's not even fight with rubber band. Get real. They had these balances, which, you know, this would be great to cut for other stuff. But, hello. All these beads. Yes, please. Those are going to make some great... I mean, I can even take my seam ripper and just ch -ch -ch take those things off. But it came with three of them. So, we'll probably even use some of this in our fairy thing, too, because of the greens and everything. But it came with three balances for $2. So, that was a good score. And then, their shirts were on sale for a dollar. So... I got, found this lace one, which, you know, hello, it just says, chop me up, please. And so I got that, that shirt. Now it was a small, why can't it be like a 2X? So I would have got a little more for my dollar, but <laughs> I know. Let's not be greedy, Candace. And then they had a white one that, oh, this is just, I thought this lace was just really pretty too. And this was only a dollar. Oh, but is that not just pretty? So I, you know, had to grab those. 
and their stuff is always washed so I never have to wash from there which I love oh well I got like two holes so that's that then they have like this little armoire over there that always has like older stuff in there and they have all these old books I got this pack for two dollars I know like I need another book like a hole in my head but I'm getting ready to put some I'm getting ready to share some of this stuff on my Etsy because I just don't need this much but oh this is Jack North's treasure hunt let's see if we can I mean it is just so worn and wonderful and there's not I'm sure there used to be a date in here but there's no date or anything but I mean this bad boy I mean um, per volume was 50 cents postage paid when they would mail these to you I wish they would you know have dates but I'm sure that's why this was in there because it's definitely seen better days but hello that just says journal me yummies and this I can't even read what the heck it is <laughs> it's so fake oh my god look at the old writing in there I see I didn't even open these up when I was there I just saw the old old books and um, a need of Virgil 1892 y'all I mean come on is that look and they wrote with fountain pen and it's um yeah well we're just gonna have to we're gonna have to piece this one together because I'm looking as I'm showing you it's written in I don't know what what language this is um, it's written in both English and something, <laughs> but it's 1892 and I got it for, it was in the, look at all this yummy scribble scrabble. Oh, Latin. Oh no. We got Latin and beginner's Greek, but jeez oh, Louise, aren't these just beautiful? So, and then this one is the Rivals of the Trail, okay, a campfire series. <laughs> drippy, the Drippy Jerk, oh my God. So he wrote his name, James Farmer, the Drippy Jerk, back then. Boys, oh, boys, boys, boys. And then this one was um, each 12 months cloth. 40 cents per volume but this paper is so thick oh my gosh I mean this is 1913 this is just oh beautiful beautiful so can you believe <clears throat> I got these old 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 yummies for two oh. dollars I know like I said I needed these like a hole in my head but I'm going to share because I just can't hoard all of these. This is <laughs> Immortal Masterpieces of Literature, The Woman in White. I got, and then all of these I got for a dollar. Um, this was given to somebody in 1938. Property of James Gothier, 1938. Um... It was copyrighted in 1937, but, oh, yes. I mean, the paper is just, it's amazing. Oops. Well, it's, a few of them have seen better days, but what do you expect for a dollar? <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, so pretty. And then there's this one. Memorable addresses. I don't know. This is, I don't even know, um, and you know, I've told you that the other papers were thick, man, 
this is some thick stuff. You know, they knew how to make books back in the day. That is just unbelievable. And I don't see, there isn't any dates in here. Doesn't people, didn't they understand we needed dates back in the day? I don't know, but this paper is just, oh my gosh. You can just say yummy. I mean, holy Toledo. It is, it's all of more than 65 pounds. I mean, it's just, and then it's just, oh my gosh. I love it, love it, love it. It's so pretty. I mean, it just feels so good. This is the Black Swan. Oh, I wonder if that's the, like the movie, The Black Swan. I don't have time to read. 1932. Oh, copyright 1931 and 1932. But, yep, this is really nice, thick paper, too. <coughs> Excuse me. And then they don't smell. So wherever they lived, they had a great home because they don't have that funk to it. You know what I mean when you get old things. The Shums of Scranton High. Okay. This is some... Oh, beautiful color paper. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. 1919. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. I have only two more to go. Then this one is Doctor's Wife. Let's see. Do they have... Um, copyright 1936 and 1937, but, oh, I mean, it, it's just amazing, and then look at the color, and you can see the paper fibers all in here, this one is just, this is just um, awesome, I love all the different colors of paper fiber in there, <clears throat> Lord, I gotta go take some more pills, and then Children Everywhere, Basic Reader, Hey, that's that little farmer kid again. <laughs> God, that, that little boy. Okay, so this is 1947. Oh, and it has color pictures on here. Ooh. I mean, I really did not even look at them. I just saw the old covers. Well, the first one was copyright 1940 and then 1947 again. But I just grabbed them because, I mean, oh my gosh. But this is, these are cute. Oh, how sweet. Pax meets Mrs. Porcupine. <laughs> I bet you he did. Woo! Oh, look, his little face is full of quills. I guess this is before, what was that? Spot Jane and, and Dick or whatever. See Spot Run. <laughs> but they got some really pretty illustra illustrations in there. But yeah, I mean, oh. So that's my, that's the, the least oldest book, it seems. And then this one here is some kind of biology oh 1951 this is my oldest book I mean you know but the paper is pretty and it'd be great for collages and stuff like that and it's got some really pre pretty pictures and some just you know hey there's our little brain gizzard who is this over oh, an earthworm oh okay but you know I couldn't just leave one book behind. I had to give them my, another dollar. So, but, I mean, is this not the uh, the bomb? This was just awesome, awesome of, you know, the books and the laces and stuff that I found. So, I know I was probably out of frame half the time. Sorry. All right, guys. So, I hope you enjoyed this yummy shares that of um, some of the things that I found within the last couple weeks and um, like I said I am going to get start taking some of this stuff apart and um, get them on the on my Etsy and stuff so that way y'all can have some because oh my gosh these are just and this is I mean I've got so many other ones over there too that are just just as old if not older and um, I've never showed them but I have got shelves of them and it's time to start what they call them de-stashing yeah but it's just time to start putting them together and letting you guys enjoy some of this too but oh my gosh 
I am just amazed at how thick paper was back then. All right, guys. So thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing some of your time with me. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope I didn't rattle too much or, or ooh and ogle at my own stuff too long. But I hadn't really looked at it either. And I will see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for sharing some of your time with me. Thanks for all your love, all your support. Lots of kisses and hugs from me. And I'll see y'all later. Y'all have a great day and a blessed day. Bye, guys.